everyone, today I'm going to be doing Casual Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. A final word on investing. In the world of money, you will often see the term IOR, ROI, return on investment. Depending upon whom you talk to, ROI will vary. For example, if you talk to a banker, he or she may say, we pay 3% interest on your money. For many people, this may sound good. If you talk to a financial planner, they may say, you can expect a return on a, on, you can expect a return on your investment of 10% per year. To many people, a 10% return is exciting. To most people, especially those in the E and S quadrant, the higher your return, the greater the, ri the greater the risk. So the person accepting a 10% return already assumes there is more risk in that investment than the 3% from the bank. And there is. Ironically, both the 3% return from the bank and the 10% return from the stock market are extremely high risk. The money in the bank is at risk due to inflation and higher taxes caused by banks printing money. The 10% in the stock market is at risk due to volatility caused by HFT high frequency trading and due to the novice investor investing without insurance in my world roi stands for return on information this means that the more information i have the higher my returns and the lower my risk i caution you because what i'm about to say may sound insane or too good to be true yet i assure you it is true in my world the world of a level four investor and level five investor an infinite return is expected, and with low risk. An infinite return means money for nothing. In other words, investors receive income without having any of their own money in the investment. In an earlier section, I wrote that I took a real estate course in 1973 after looking at 100 investments. I purchased a condo on Maui using 100% financing, which means I used none of my own money. I put $25 each month into my pocket. That $25 was an infinite return on my investment, since I had had zero invested. And I quote from that section, My real life education had begun. I was learning to use other people's money to make money, a skill a true capitalist must know. I know $25 a month is not a lot of money. Yet it was not the money that was important to me. It was learning a way of thinking that was processing information and producing results. One of the reasons that I've trained that I have so much money today is simply because I was educated and trained to think differently. If you have read Rich Dad Poor Dad, then you may recall that the title of the first chapter is The Rich Don't Work for Money. One of the many reasons why those in the E and S quadrants have problems with that statement is because most went to school to learn to work for money. They did not go to school to learn how to have other people's money work for them. When Kim and I started the Rich Dad Company, we borrowed 250000 from investors. We paid the money back once the company was up and running. Today, the business has returned multi-millions of dollars, not only to Kim and me, but to companies and individuals associated with Rich Dad. As I said, capitalists are generous. My point is that the moment a person knows how to make money or out of nothing or with other people's money or a bank's money, they enter a different world. It's a world almost exactly opposite from the ENS Quadrant's world of hard work, high taxes, and low returns on investment. <clears throat> the reason most, hard, most people believe saving is smart and a 10% return in the stock market is worthy, it is simply due to a lack of financial education. <clears throat> Your best ROI is not a return on your investment, but a return on your information. That is why a financial education is essential, especially for the uncertainty of the world ahead. Remember this word about remember this about the word education. Education gives us the power to turn information into meaning. In the information age, we are drenched with financial information. Yet without financial education, we cannot turn information into useful meaning for our lives. In closing, I said that the quadrant is the I say that the I quadrant is the most important quadrant for your future. No matter what you do for a living, how well you do in the I quadrant will determine your future. 
In other words, even if you make very little money in the E or S quadrants, financial security in the S quad in the I quadrant is your ticket to freedom and financial security. For example, my sister is a Buddhist nun. She earns nearly zero in the S quadrant. Yet she attends our investment courses and has steadily been increasing her financial education. Today, her future is bright because she stopped saving money in the bank and buying mutual funds, and began investing in real estate and silver. In the ten years between two thousand and two thousand ten, she has made much more money in the I quadrant than she could ever make as a nun in the S quadrant. But I, I am very proud of my sister. She may be a nun by profession, but she doesn't have to be a poor nun. Okay, I hope you liked that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Bye.